And welcome back to episode 8 of our Pokemon Unbound Nuzlocke. I am Masterfish plus your resident Pokemaster. How you doing? It's a brand new week, and I got a brand new team for you. Which you saw come together and grinding in the last episode. We finished climbing Cinder Mountain, and the, the Team Shadow, Team Darkness, they caught our boy Moltres. Which is fine, we didn't want Moltres, but they can they can have him, but they caught him and they're gonna do bad stuff with him, but they need like another thing to do the bad stuff, so that kid that we were with that was healing all of our mons, real nice guy that guy. He went to go get the other piece of the puzzle, and that left us to kind of hang out and get the mission to go save Zapdos. So we're gonna go out there and hopefully not lose any mons in this episode. I sure hope we don't, because I spent a while grinding. We brought the whole team up to 25 and starts off with Kaween, the Beedrill, Bashful Nature, S Attack, just Swarm, just Twin Needle, Venishock, Bug Bite, Focus Energy. Focus Energy, Twin Needle, I plan on using that. Should be real fun. Twin Needle has that chance of poison too. Probably saw that happen during grinding. Real, real good stuff. We have Palmer the Hariyama, Sassy Nature, uh, highest attack on the team, I believe. Guts to up attack if suffering. Force Palm, knock off, Whirlwind, fake out. We got Giblet the Gabite. Careful Nature, like I said, the only one who could contend on attack does not have a ton yet. But he will. Sand Veil to up evasion in Sandstorms. And Dual Chop, Fire Fang, Bite, and Sandstorm. Speaking of, we have. Pico the Pelipper! Pico evolved during grinding. Yay! Dollar Store Kyogre over here with Drizzle. Um, very fast. Hopefully that special attack holds out and is useful. Air Cutter, Water Pulse, Quick Attack, and she learned Protect. So let's take an annoying Mon and make her even more annoying. Rainy, Protect, Water Pulse, who, who doesn't love it? And last, we have Daisy, the Floet, Quiet Nature, Met and Flower Paradise. Uh, great special attack, waiting on a... Hans? Shiny Stone, a Shiny Stone to become her final form. Fairy Wind, Magical Leaf, Grass Knot, and Grass Terrain. Oh shoot, I forgot about Scout, jeez. We have Scout the Watchhog. Uh, also level 25, hardy nature, nice and neutral, excellent stats, illuminate to increase encounter rate, which is largely useless for us, covet, hypnosis, bite, confuse rate, probably the best move set on the team, and that's everybody. So it leaves us with a considerable flying type and psychic type weakness that I really don't like, but we can counter, a lot of our mons have bite, so we can counter the, um, the psychic type weakness, and... Flying, I mean, I'm not too worried about... I mean, someone could be running acrobatics, right? I have acrobatics on on my monkey out in Radical Red, so that's always a thing. I don't know. I bought, I spent a, we had like, gosh, do we have like $60,000? I spent a ton of it on medicine, so we should never run out of medicine. Or, shoot, we fought you, right? Do we eat dessert? There's none of those. There's no mushrooms, man. I wish there was mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are actually apparently extremely beneficial to your health, but... And very few of them are actually dangerous. Wait, no, you know what? Don't quote me on that. Don't go out and grab some mushrooms and eat them and be like, Mr. Fish Plus said it's okay. I can't confirm nor deny. So, whatever. Repellent's effect wore off. Yeah, we don't have another super repel. But we do have 28 normal repels. I wasn't kidding. I bought a ton of stuff. I got all these potions. I got all these repels. And I believe... Where are my super potions? I didn't sell anything and I could have. And we still have how much money? Oh, we don't have much money. You know, I saw this during uh, watching the other episode. And I want to think about this, right? So there's this rock here that kind of looks like you can jump on it. 
I can't. I thought you could. And there's this ball sitting here. So I'm thinking we get Lava Surf or something. I'm thinking that's in our future. But we gotta, we gotta jump up to the top of this volcano real quick. And we easily have the repels to do it. So let's get it done. Oh, wait, we gotta go up. I made that mistake last time. And I was mad. Repellent's effect wore off. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go through here. I'm hoping... Oh, and I took Shivers off the team. I mentioned in the last episode... Actually, I gotta go to the box and show you what's in the box. But I took Shivers off the team because I want Shivers to live. You know, I, I don't want to lose Shivers early. And we have Good Boy. I learned... I learned something pretty cool about how how Good Boy works, how you get him, and, and how that kind of evolves, I guess. And I want to show it to you guys, because then these kinds of games where they give you the IVs and you're fighting mods with great IVs, you don't have a lot of options. But I found a way to get some options. All right, this is where we fought those dudes. And I believe the exit to the cave is right here. And is... Is this a new route? I gotta see. I didn't check the last route we were on. All right, so we are over here. No, this isn't a new route, but we'll hit route five soon. This is also the entrance that Jax went in. It'd be nice to get an encounter here, I, I, I feel, but... Ooh, look at this. We only need 50 for uh, the Zygarde 50%, and we don't need another one. What the heck is this? Sure. Thank you, Lapras. Now we're on Route 5. Well, we're gonna go back. I saw a dude over there. Um, okay, what am I saying? He's been fishing there for days. I don't know who you're talking about. The Zygarde 50%. Uh, game the system. Is this a new route? I have no idea what I was talking about, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got this guy here. I wonder if he's gonna let me focus energy. Ice shard's gonna sting, but not that bad, I guess. I was like, bug types weak to ice, but I remember learning. I remember learning the hard way. Bug type is not weak to ice. I'm just used to wa uh, grass bugs or whatever. There we go. We got that poison. Nice. You're hurt by the poison. Shelters. Shelter's not fast. Ice Shard's priority. Duh. I, I learned that. There's like Ice Shard, Powder Snow, uh, Ice, Ice Snow, Powder Shard. There's like freaking, I swear there's like four or like three of those, those early uh, ice type moves. Are we going to get Psychic? Are we going to get Confusioned here? I don't think so. Come on, Critical Hit. Don't even worry about it. Yes! That nasty focus energy twin needle combo, man. I don't even have to worry. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm. No, I'm gonna switch to someone defensive. Scout, come on out here. I don't trust Basculin to save my life, dude. These things are always nasty to me. I'm telling you. I'm just gonna covet you. I'm going to covet you, Scout. Covet that Basculin. And that's gonna be it, alright? Just one two, one two punch, Basculin goes down. I have been final gambit by, by Basculin. I have been crunched by Basculin. They get great moves. They have surprisingly good attack. Looks like I lost. Better catch, better haul. Yes, you better. I don't trust it. I will never trust Basculin. Unless I have one. I've had them. I've played with Basculin before. I can't remember. It was a was it oh shoot! I didn't mean use two. I think it was a recent like run or something. Maybe it was a stream. I had a, I had a basculin. Oh, this looks like an item, right? Anyway. Ooh, this is good. These are nice to have. What is happening with my? Oh, never mind. OBS looked weird. It was doing some shenanigans, man. Where is this gonna? Why can't? All right. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, let's move. Yeah, anyway, once we get to the box again, I'll show you what's going on with good boy. Trumbeak. Oh, jeez. 
No, we need to switch. Remember, remember how we have that flying weakness? Um, who is taken? Scout's just always a good, a good switch. I don't want to turn Scout into a Bronto, but I think Scout has possibly the best defense out of all our mods right now. And a base 70 stab move that just destroys the competition. <laughs> <laughs> that did a lot of damage. I mean, I guess we're six levels above, but still. these We're fighting strong mons. I mean, you remember that Basculin? That was a two-hit KO from Scout. It's five levels up. Uh, I don't feel super bad about being kind of over-leveled here, you know? I, I really don't. Uh-oh. Help. I've been here for days, but I can't seem to catch anything good. Hey, well, you got me. I'm good. I mean, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you like a drum, day. Uh-oh. Please. Please, no. I cannot handle a Gyarados right now. Oh. <sighs> I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping on hoping on hoping on hoping. I don't think we can stack focus energy, can we? If he sends out another magic card, I'm gonna try it. Please don't. Okay, it's a core fish. Thank God. I didn't want this guy. I didn't want this to be the guy with two magic carp and a Gyarados. All right. I really, really didn't need a Gyarados. Gyarados is so strong. I can catch. If I can old rod, I have the old rod, I believe. No, I don't. That's in radical red. He does have another magic carp. Okay, can I stack this? I can't, okay. I was, for some reason it was in my head that I could. I got those weird ideas sometimes, man. I don't know where they come from. I saw it on Reddit, there. I don't browse Reddit. Reddit's a black hole, man. You go on Reddit and find some funny stuff and then you're like, oh wow, it's been three hours. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right, so let's talk to Shadow Man, I guess. Really? Just... Come on, dude. I bet Entei's in there or something. Ooh, it's Snake! Oh my gosh. Yo, we don't have Scout out front. How are we doing the... I turn. I... What's happening? <laughs> this grass wasn't this savage... Oh my gosh! All right. I guess we're just doing this. Jeez, let me let me go. Lapras, thank you. Now we're on Route 5. All right, so let me confirm. I don't have the old rod. I don't have the old rod. All right. Well, what's happening on this route? Valley Woods, Route 4, Cinder Volcano, Crater Town, and a Pokemon Daycare. No, okay. Well, let's, let's be cool. There's an item here. I see it. Let's, let's try to stay cool, and there's a woman who's going to try to attack me. I'm gonna... Dang it! That's some range, girl! Are we in a forest or on a route? I can't tell! This is a route. We'd be... If this was a forest, we'd, like, have gone into it, and it would have gone to a new area. Dang it, Talo! I'm not worried about flying types, Master Fish Plus said. Not realizing that that's exactly what he needed to be worried about. Well, if we're gonna be, if we're gonna, oh, wing attack. Ooh, good. Glad I know that. Dude, ooh, and I'm fast. Jiblet is, ooh, and Jiblet's fast. Ooh, and Jiblet hits. Whoosh. Dual shot. Jiblet doesn't really even have arms. I'd, I'd be, I would hazard to call those arms. I think they're just little pokers, right? Aren't they? Now all of a sudden I can't remember what uh, Gabite's and Garchomp's arms look like. I gotta know. <laughs> eh, kind of. I know that Mega... I know Mega Garchomp's arms are scythes. Who do I put out front? I guess... I don't want to put Scout out front. If I put Scout out front, we will never stop getting encounters, even when I don't want them. I just want to, like, sneak by here. I know there's trainers back there, but I just want to sneak. I want to sneak around, see what we can locate. Does this go to the town? Man, it's a long route. 
Right, there's more people there. There's a, there's a piece. Yeah, all right, cool, 12%. I'm not worried until later. And then this is the daycare, okay. I've been researching the relationship between incense and Pokemon breeding. It's slow going, but uh, would you like to help me with my research? Yeah, of course. Great, to start off, please bring me a Badoo. All right, well, what about you? When I was a student in the Pokemon Breeder School. Best way to raise is to battle them important battles. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> you got me, Annie. You got me. Ooh, level 20 Volpix. This is your bad. This is a bad day for you, dude. I got Discount Kyogre over here. I think that's gonna be my nickname for for Pelipper from now on is Kyogre. <laughs> it's really it's really garbage thing to do, but hey, why not? I'm not getting Kyogre. <laughs> the day I get Kyogre is a it's a great day indeed, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Let's just get that rain boosted uh, stab water pulse. Nothing lives. I'm glad. I'm glad. Pico's gonna be good for a little bit anyway. Hope the next gym's like uh, ground type or fire type or something. Just, just annihilate them with with Pico. This might not kill actually. Uh, Flabebe. Ha oh wait, no, it's a Flabebe. I don't know. See, this isn't a flow. I'd even though it should be because it's level 19. Do I get a quick attack? I do. Does Pico know quick attack? Oh, she does. She does know it. That's good. That's good, Pico. I'm pleased. Routes? Routes with Trace? Are you gonna double rain it? Ooh, you just extended rain for me. Thank you, Routes. I appreciate it. <laughs> rain stopped. Uh-oh. Oh, they got... All I got is a Cleffa. Guess I'll switch to Air Cutter. I think it's base 65. Okay. Gotta make sure my guard stays up. I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. They could send some. I could. You know, I'm fighting Cherubi now, but. All I gotta do is run into my rival and bang, I'm fighting something too crazy to deal with. Yeah, your babies are getting strong, cool. Thank you for battling with me. Come back tomorrow to help me train. Okay, so you're a, you're a grindable trainer. Cool. Uh, here's a box. Oh, duh, we saw one of these out. <sighs> All right, so here's the deal with, uh, with, uh, good boy. So you can keep, you can, Send you can disassemble good boy and then reassemble him and his stats will be different So I got I, I worked to get one that had a nature that didn't lower attack And I think hasty's pretty good because he has higher speed now But he has s in both defenses s and attack and a minus HP so it's like everything you could ever want I mean we could have a little bit better in speed I guess but that's what the nature is for so Maybe I go and I disassemble him again and just reassemble him, but I can kind of gain his stats here and grind for good ones. Um, nobody else made it on the team. I learned that Vampy, well, Vampy could be good. I'm never using a Subat. It levels up from friendship, and even then, it's got bad. It's not, its stats aren't great. It's like high special attack, and that's it. So I'm not doing that. Shivers, keeping you safe. Cameron, maybe someday when we, when we can put more ground types on a team. I don't know. That implies that... That implies that giblet. Some have the giblet, but I don't want it. Uh, there's no wild clefairy around here. Oh, okay. When a boy and a uh oh. Sometimes when a boy and a girl like Pokemon like each when a girl Pokemon like each other very much, they lay an egg, and the daycare couple is kind enough to hold on to a hundred of these for you. I wish I could breed Pokemon as great as they can. Oh, I, I, oops. Actually, there's another room here, isn't there? There is nothing in this room. Great. I don't have any use for the daycare yet. Uh, this isn't... Hey, check that out. This is an Empyrean. This is an Empyrean where I can do crazy stuff. Let's get our encounter now. I think this is a good time to grab our encounter. What do we got? Show me a Bunnelby! Ha <laughs> Isn't Isn't the evolution, like, really good? I don't know. I've never used it. I remember having someone use it against me, though. 
Uh, quick attack's physical. This shouldn't. Yeah, alright. Well. It's normal ground, it's evolution, but I, I believe it's it's good for some reason. I'd have to look into it. I would have to find out. But Pokeball should do it, huh? There we go, nice. Hey, we got everything in this episode. We're, we're gonna be in another town soon. We got an encounter. And we got a female bunny. They use their large ears to dig burrows. They will dig the whole night through. The digging Pokemon. I, I got a perfect nickname for you. I just hope it fits. Diggerina. It's like ballerina. But she's a digger. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that wasn't inspired. I'm sorry. Our team's looking really good, but I... Where's... Is... Are we going to Crater Town? Is that... Is that what's in the distance? Oh, okay. We have Daycare and South to Valley Cave. Uh, what? Oh, Crater Town. Shit. Jeez. And we need to get to... Thundercap Mountain. We gotta go all the way here for the story. Are you for... Well, maybe we can get to Crater Town on time. Maybe. I'll remember these trainers are here. We're gonna need grinding eventually, so I'll come back and fight them. Ah, oh, we could've got Tail... Well, we could've got Taylo, but is Taylo even better than, than uh, Diggersby? Than Diggerina? I don't know. I don't think so. Taylo can fall off. Star Raptor doesn't. Star Raptor don't do no such thing. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Many call me a maniac, but I prefer the term enthusiast. Well, is that your trainer trainer title? Uh, no, you're a maniac, dude. Sorry, the game is spoken. It doesn't say bug enthusiast. Ain't no one called bug enthusiast. Get out of here with that whack idea, dude. See my my use of whack? <laughs> That's what the kids are saying these days. <laughs> Wait, I am a kid. Good call a kid. <laughs> you tell how I feel about that? <laughs> oh, what else you got, dude? Combi? Ah, uh, get out of here. Get, get out of here forever, Combi. Male Combi can't evolve into Vespaquen. Vespa Quen, yes. They only have one E. I don't think it's Vespa Queen. Yanma. You know, I wonder if this Yanma, that Yanma is not even faster than Pico. That's awesome. Ooh, that hurt me. I felt a little punch in my chest. You defeated Colton. You'll never beat me in knowledge, really. Give me a fact. There is no room in my heart for anything but my bugs. Uh, do you notice a bug hiding in that girl's hair? Ah, no I don't. We're not even gonna fight her. Like I said, we're gonna- Oh shoot! What did I do? Oh man! Oh, my- my reactions worked against me there. I thought we got- we were gonna get spotted- Oh jeez, I ran too far. I screwed up, guys. That's my fault. We're just gonna- we're just gonna speed- I wanna get to the next town, alright? I wanna get to the next town in this episode. So I'm gonna speed it up a little. I don't think we're gonna miss anything here. Just Pico slamming some some mons with water pulse. Ooh, there were Nidoran, female. No, I've all but given up on. Oh shoot! I want to go. Don't I just I want to go, guys. I'm gonna get us there. I'm gonna get to the next town really fast. You can trust me. I've all but given up on Nidoran or Nido King. But I think I could make something happen with Nido Queen. If I ever get my hands on a Nido Queen, I bet I could. I bet I could make it work. I hope anyway. I used all my Poke Mastery strats on Nido King, and I still just. You know what? The last time I used a Nido King, I needed a Life Orb, and I did not have one. I had to use Choice Specs, and it severely limited my Nido King's abilities in battle. Because I was constantly locked, he couldn't sweep, he couldn't do anything. He was constantly locked into moves that weren't always effective. When I needed life orb. And then he would have one-shot everything. So you know what? His defenses and junk aren't that great or whatever, but... You know, if I could get, if I had had that life orb, things would have been different. I'd have been like, Nido King is okay. There. Trainer tips. 
Thank you for putting this here. And I, I suffered to learn that. Oh! Guys, can I catch it? Will you be mad if I just catch this Growlithe? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I want that. I want a Growlithe. I want to use Arcanine. I've been wanting to use Arcanine in the worst way lately. Uh, this probably isn't good. We're running a lot of flying types. Let's do that. Now that we're out of the grass. We're in Crater Town. Sweet. We get to spend a couple minutes in the place where we're probably going to be able to change Deoxys' form. Stardust! We're rich! <laughs> Great. Hey, what do you got to say for yourself? Hey, what do you got to say? What do you, what do you got? Hey, what do you got to say for yourself? There are rumors of rare Pokemon known as Carbink. Um, why would I want Carbink? Last I checked, Carbink's not great. Ryan, the power of Mega Evolution. Oh, crap. There used to be a Clefairy by that bookshelf a long time ago. I wonder where it went. I know where it went. It went to the daycare. Somebody, somebody caught it. All Pokemon have abilities. Yeah. Uh-huh. You'd be more likely to encounter wild Pokemon that are fire type. You know that Vega fellow. He's always so dark and moody. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to know who you are. You were in the last Poke You were in the last Poke Town in the Poke Center talking about Pokemon. I heard there's someone in Tarmigan Town who teaches the art of Mega Evo. Well, where Yeah, dude, we're getting money, man! Um, where is Mega Evolution Town? Tarmigan. Tarmigan? Tarmigan. Tarmigan? Tarmigan? Tarmigan. Tarmigan Town! We're not that far away. Could be the next place we go. I don't, I don't know. Alright, well, let's check out more of this town, huh? Hey, trainer. What? You want me to say something interesting? Fine, then. Lately, I've been having trouble with my brother. He's gotten himself in deep with this gang, calling themselves the Black Embor. I don't really know what it's all about, but I'm really worried for his safety. I haven't spoken with him in days, so I'm afraid something bad has happened. What's that? You'd be willing to check up on him for me? Yeah. Thanks. You'd probably find my brother in the Northern KBT Expressway. I'd go myself, but I'm too weak of a trainer. They say these Black Embor are insanely vicious. Yeah, they're probably around level 21. <laughs> I can handle them. This is locked. Okay. The meteorites in Crater Town are imbued with some sort of cosmic power. They, they say that if a certain Pokemon comes in contact with one, strange things will happen. Can you... Can I have Deoxys? Are you going to give me Deoxys? I'm a Pokemon move maniac. I know every single move. I'm a... Oh, you're a heart scale guy. Gosh dang it. I was hoping you were a mushroom, dude. I know where the mushrooms are. I know where the heart scales are. I haven't seen Lube Disc yet. Did you know that if you talk to the gym referees before beating the gym leader, they'll give you a free gift? Did you, did you? Yep. Well, and did you know that if you talk to the gym referees after being the gym leader, they'll give you a gift then also? I didn't know that. There's something new every day. I like Digi Girl. She helped me out. Huh, 30 years ago, a large meteorite was hurtling towards Boreas. The astronomers at Cube Corp predicted that if it wasn't stopped, it would fall directly on Valley City, this city, and end all life living here. With great haste, we began our evacuation of the city, and as we were about to make our escape, we heard the news. The meteorite was now predicted to crush half the region. If we attempted to flee underground, there would be a large chance we'd be buried alive. Chaos ensued, all was thought hopeless until HE arrived. Auros, the legend. He arrived alongside Arceus and used a small Pokemon to teleport everyone to East Boreas, safe from harm. He planned to attack the meteorite head on and smash it to bits. Once he had transported everyone to safety, it is said that he rode on a Rayquaza and smashed into the meteorite. It shattered and most of the smaller fragments fell on Valley City. The city was destroyed, but Aros saved the region. I'll never forget the heroic act that man performed. Okay, he made a friend with Pokemon that fell from the... Probably a Clefairy or something. Why didn't he just have Arceus, like, Thanos snap it out of existence? Uh, King Boreas III Expressway? Okay. A region-wide highway. Well, I haven't been able to use it yet, so what good is it to me? Hey, Zygarde! That's number 13. Can I get more star? Oh, Yellow Shard. That works, too. Actually, no, it doesn't. Whoa. Ooh. That looks fun. And ominous. There's a gym in this town. Okay. Crater Town. A town built from ash. 
Ash, catch him. All right. What do you got here? Can I buy anything cool? All right, well, I'll sell some cool stuff. How about that? I'm going to hold on to my... I don't know about that. I got to look up. I got to look up Pretty Wing. Um, let's sell our revives. It's a Nuzlocke. We can't use them. And two Stardust, please. Let's make some Muns. Good. Let's get some free items. Come on. Some items like this solely to be sold. If you get one of those items, you just sell it immediately. I even heard that there are some maniacs out there who will buy those items for an even higher amount than Pokemarts. Why? I tried taking on the gym leader here, but I couldn't even get to the leader. It was so dark, I had no idea where I was going. I couldn't even use Flash to see better. Hopefully, you'll have more use for this TM than I did. Sweet. That's why we talked to everybody. Y'all, this is a good deal. Why don't you trade your Pokeball for my Great Ball? Okay. Heh, thanks. Enjoy the Great Ball. See, it's a good deal, isn't it? We can trade again tomorrow if you want. Okay. I, I win. I win. <laughs> I win, guys. I did it. <laughs> More Stardust. <laughs> Man, we're just, we're doing good. This cave takes out to, to six, straight to Route 7, Frost Mountain, Route 8 to Blizzard City. Uh, why? They don't have the vision badge. Without it, they can't cut down that skinny tree in front of the entrance. Oh, not the skinny tree. I only like swall trees. Star Peace. Man, we're, this town is just... Made of money. Each day, groups of Pokemon roam around Boreas. My daughter loves hearing about them on TV, and she's been dying to meet one of them. You don't by chance have a Whirlipede. Frisk, frisk. Did you frisk me? Did you go through my mons, man? Give me a break. Antasis Sewers. There's a whole bunch of Whirlipede. My daughter loves watching TV. It's set a time limit, but if it weren't for her, my son would never know when Pokemon Storms appear. And it's not like those Pokemon are easier to find any other time. What if your son watched TV? What if you... What if your your son's ineptitude is the reason you just let your daughter veg out on TV all day? It's a mysterious meteorite. Yeah, the Deoxys meteorites. Go figure. There's four. You know, it'd be really crazy if there was five. Just like screw with you. I'd, I'd pull something like that. It's five meteorites. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. All right, I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna look in here. All right. I don't like it. Next episode, we'll probably deal with that. Uh-oh. Get over here. Hey, who said you can pass through here? This place belongs to us, the Black Embor. It's like our gym, kid. So scram, toddle off home to your ma, you little goody two-shoes punk. Okay. Rats like you with the future so bright. Just go on back home be nice to your parents. Don't forget your baby bottle. I'm getting some mixed messages from you. It's good to be nice to my parents, but you're calling me a baby, too, which I don't like. We're going to resolve my feelings in the next episode, guys. Got an encounter. Got to Crater Town. Have a whole bunch of trainers that we can fight, but I'm not sure if we should. And that's about it. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. It really helps out the channel. Hope to see you on Wednesday for the next exciting episode. Not sure if we're just going to spend it fighting black embers or if we go to the gym if we go to the gym i'm gonna have to like get some information together and like make up a strategy though so we'll find out what happens for now my friends farewell